Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Dave Kelm. It's the beginning of another work week, and I have a new phone. The uh, old iPhone X, dead. Dead and buried. I have now entered the realm of iPhone 14 Pro. I don't know what that means. Looks the same to me. The YouTube show is Milk Punch. Feel free to go over to YouTube and hit subscribe. Question of the day. Do you plan on voting in municipal elections? Do you vote in municipal elections, but do you plan on voting in this year's municipal elections? In Illinois, for my, uh, my national and international audience, in Illinois, in, in off year, <clears throat> we have municipal elections and other districts, school districts, park districts, community college board, convention centers, pretty much everything in Illinois is governed by an elected board. Um, and we have elections. And many times, nobody really runs against the incumbent. Sometimes there are all kinds of people. In Springfield, Illinois, for instance, we don't have a municipal election primary because there, there have to be, I think, more than three candidates to get a primary in the municipal election. So in Chicago, though, for instance, there are multiple candidates, both for mayor and some aldermanic races, etc. And so they will have a primary tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, February, what, 28th. So... Are you, a, are you a regular voter in municipal elections? So do you plan on voting in a municipal election? Maybe everybody thinks that everybody else votes in municipal elections. And they don't. They just don't. Um, everyone, a lot of people, I should say, a lot of people vote in presidential elections. Those are the big elections. A lot of people vote in uh, statewide elections. So in Illinois, for instance, the gubernatorial election is off cycle of the president so we just had our gubernatorial election uh, and other statewide officials back in November 2022 the presidential will be in 2024 our next gubernatorial etc will be in 2026 so those are big turnout elections <clears throat> big big turnout elections municipal elections not so much I think four years ago we were like oh, mid 20% turnout and, and, the, and to me, at least, the problem with that is, or the challenge with that is, the, you know, uh, who said it? Uh, Tip O'Neill, Speaker of the U.S. House for, I think, decades, I don't know, a long, long time, uh, back in the 70s and 80s, you know, is famous for noting that all politics are local. And that's the issue, right, with municipal elections. The, the board or the elected official or the politician that is most going to impact your life sits on that city council, sits on that park district board, sits on that township board, sits on that school board. They're the ones. They're the ones who will most impact you. It's not your congressman. It's not your U.S. senator. It's to some extent not your governor, but the president? Mm -hmm. Not so much. It's easy to complain because you see the president on the news. It's easy to chirp about national politics because really national news has decided that everyone should care about national politics and not care so much about local politics. You need to care about local politics. That's the moral of the story. So the question of the day, are you planning on voting in your local election on April 4th? Hope you have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.